Hey, what's going on guys? Thank you so much for tuning in once again. And in this video, we're gonna be going over protein. And the reason why I think it's the biggest one is because it's so promoted. There's so many protein supplements out there. It's the one that's exposed to us the most. So therefore, in our minds, we think it's the most important. That's not necessarily true. But it does have its function, and it is very important. Because every single cell that we have has protein in it. Like our hair, which <laughs> I need a haircut. I'm gonna go get one today. Um, our nails, our skin, our muscles, obviously. Ugh. Getting a good pump today. <laughs> so since every cell has protein in it, what that means is protein structures us as a human being. So if you were to take protein and break it down into a molecule, it's made up of amino acids. I'm sure you guys have all seen these or supplements of BCAAs, branch chain amino acids. Amino acids are what makes proteins and proteins are what makes us. So it is very important. So one of the properties, for example, of protein is breaking down the food that we digest. Because if protein didn't do that, our bodies could not process the food that we eat fast enough to keep us alive. And that's kind of a big problem. Another good example is proteins help carry oxygen to the cells that go into our muscles, basically feeding our muscles with oxygen. That's where that pump sensation comes from. Proteins also fight off diseases. Now how do they do that? They're in the form of antibodies which help our immune system stay healthy and fight off diseases and prevent us from getting sick. Now it's recommended that we eat about one gram of protein per body weight. Let's say you're, you're obese, um, you're, uh, you, you weigh 300 pounds, and uh, obviously you're not gonna eat 300 grams of protein every day because that's very unnecessary. You would take your lean body mass and uh, use that as your grams per body weight per protein. Also, proteins are unselfish. So if your body does not have enough carbohydrates, readily available to use as fuel, as energy. Let's say you're at the gym and uh, your body runs out of carbohydrates. It'll start breaking down proteins, which means it'll start breaking down muscle to use it as energy. Now, if you're cutting, you wanna consume about one gram to about 1.3, 1.4 grams of protein per body weight. Because what's happening is you're, you're in a deficit of calories, meaning you're going to be losing weight and along with that weight means you're going to lose muscle no matter what. Now, while cutting, obviously, we want to retain as much muscle as possible, but there's no way going around it that you're going to lose some amount of muscle. And obviously, by losing some amount of muscle, you're also going to be losing strength. So keep that in mind. Now, when bulking and, you know, let's say you're at the gym, you're breaking down muscle and your body needs enough protein to repair those muscles to bond them back together and make them even stronger, make, to make them even bigger. So that's pretty much the basis of proteins and what they do without going into it too scientifically. So in the next video, now that we've learned about all three uh, macros, we're gonna go ahead and put them together and figure out how much you should be intaking per gram of each one. So thank you guys for tuning in once again. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and link in the comment section below. As always, stay fitted, stick with it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.